and welcome to the Wandering Gamer Network plays Mass Effect. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Cody. So I'm excited to play this game. Kind of again, because I have already, I've been playing ahead a little bit to try to not seem so bumbly through this. (laughs) But yes, we're making our first character in this. So we're not going to resume a career. We're starting a new career. Alliance Military Database. Hey, this is the first time that requested. we are recording. Just the two of us, I think, right? Yeah, because Harry Potter, there was like a ton of us. Yes. And then I recorded Secure a bunch of stuff with Zach confirmed. before we had babies. Correct. All right. So we can either pick to be John Shepard, who is possibly the most boring person ever, <laughs> or we can pick a new ID. So that's what we're doing. New ID. So I think we're going to do a custom female. Yes. Please log in to access your profile. I like all the little stuff where it pretends like, log in to access profile. Like it's pretending like you're signing into a computer. (laughs) I don't know how to make caps. Uh, (laughs) There we go. (laughs) So I figured- interesting let's play ever. We we talked before this about what we wanted the influence of the character to be. And you said Rosa Diaz. Yes, like immediately. Yeah, so- we can't name her Rosa Diaz. It has to be Rosa Shepard, unfortunately. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that it wouldn't let you type any more characters. She had to be Ross. <laughs> no, no. No, it's just the last name is locked in as Shepard, so that way all the dialogue makes sense. Gotcha. Because <laughs> everyone just calls you Shepard. <laughs> Unless we go with Rosa game. Diaz Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Rosa. Yeah, see, last name, oh, Shepard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, except... We're accessing personnel database. I didn't realize how old this game was. It is so it's clunky. It's real old, yeah. It's very clunky to get through the interface, and Running. it's data corruption detected. Da- the data's corrupted, so we have to rebuild it. Because making- oh, so that's how we make our face. Yeah. Oh, this is a fun little thing. We gotta. We have to hit X to reconstruct the profile. Okay. Important. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like all the little like loading areas in Disney. Yeah. Where they like before the Avatar ride and the Star Wars ride, where they pretend that you're like making things or doing things and they're really just killing time. It reminds me of Jurassic Park a little bit. Okay, so this is where we get to pick like our pre service history, so we're in the military, right? So we have Spacer, both your parents were in the Alliance military, your childhood was spent, blah. (laughs) Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindanor, a small border colony in the Tacan Traverse. (laughs) Just keep making up those words, it's fine. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindar, slaughtered your family and friends, you were passed by an Alliance patrol, blah, 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 and then you joined the military. Or Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets. So what are you feeling? This is the part that I wanted your input on. Yeah. Because I sent you like 15 questions and you answered two of them. Yep. Sounds like me. <laughs> uh, I think Earthborn. Yeah. I was going to say, if we're basing this on Rosa Diaz, I mean, yeah. I don't think she was an orphan, but no. she definitely wasn't a spacer or a colonist. Yeah. Some psychological profile. Okay. So then are we a solo survivor, you know? whatever trapped in extreme survival situations a war hero or ruthless <laughs> i think soul survivor okay i think that's what i picked too Confirm military now okay this part is some bs <laughs> because it does not make it clear that if you pick infiltrator you stuck using a pistol the whole game <laughs> Um, which apparently at the beginning of the game is good anyways, so I don't know. But yeah, so we have soldier, engineer, adept, which I guess at some point means we have superpowers, infiltrator, which is out, sentinel, or vanguard. Mm. Well, they says they use pistols and shotguns, so let's maybe not do that if you're... I mean, I'm fine. Early in the game, you're using a pistol anyways. Okay. You basically start this game with a variety of squirt guns that you can't use, and (laughs) then it gets better. I'm serious. The first mission, you it's just, you actually can't shoot things. It's pitiful. Uh, maybe Sentinel? Or in... So you want to be like a wizard? 
Yeah, I mean, like you're gonna, you're the one who has to push the buttons. So hey, man, look, <laughs> whatever if you buttons want me you want to be push. A wizard, they received no advanced weapon training. Oh, is that going to be a problem? I don't know. We're doing it. We're going to go Sentinel. Okay. We're space Confirm wizards. Facial identification. Okay, so we are going to change appearance simply to make our hair black <laughs> and <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> because I messed around with this myself and I turned into a frog monster and my <laughs> wife made fun of me. Uh, is there like long wavy hair? No, it's just a variety oh. of buns. A variety of space buns. <laughs> All right, we're going with this, I think. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. We got to not mess around with it more. We'll spend all day on this. Finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> the character creation in this game's a little leaves a little to be desired, you know. <laughs> Unless you want to mess around with face stuff. Yeah, but it just you end up looking like a nightmare <laughs> pile of mashed potatoes. Identification confirmed. Um, yeah, no. Okay, yes. Do you want subtitles? Uh, sure. Okay. And, yeah, everything else is okay. Perfect. Woo! Okay. Space, space, space. Boom. Going so, space. this game has a lot of loading screens. <laughs> so, why, why did you want to start playing this game? I was kind of surprised that at, like, the same time I found out we were both being, like kind of leaning towards wanting to start this game. Herded into both playing Mass Effect? Yeah. Um, so, Zach started playing it um, I don't know, a while ago, and then got bored. And I was like, oh, but but I was excited to see what happens. Because um, I, I did a project in grad school about, well, what about Shepard? Uh, Born, moral stuff no in video games. Um, and Mass Effect kept coming up in the literature, I, so I was like, oh, okay, I've heard about it enough, I want to see she saw a whole unit the game. She could have some and then Zach bailed on it. <laughs> so, you know. I feel like recording it makes it more of a commitment. Is that the kind of yeah. person we want protecting the galaxy? So this is people talking wow, about judgy, the can sir. The galaxy. I'll make the call. I don't know if we should talk through the dialogue. I feel like we shouldn't. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Well, I'm already judging Ambassador Udita because he's judging us. Yeah, there's a lot of talking in this game. It's very much two games. There's like the shooting part and the talking part. They don't get along. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I guess whatever. There's space stuff happened and now humans are in space. Okay, I missed the second half of that. I got that there was Mars. Oh, look, there's Jupiter. Okay. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. You know, it kills me. Also, this is Seth Green, which I was not sure about, but Joker, the character Joker, is Seth Green. I found out for sure. I really Should love. Should I know Seth Green from something? He made Robot Chicken. He's Chris and Family Guy. Okay. He's Dr. Evil's son from Austin Powers. I think he was a lot more popular, like, when we were teenagers. Okay. Um, no, but I like how they strap all these guns to your back, like you're <laughs> going to be competent in combat. You are not. <laughs> well, it's like you in RPGs. Like, give us a bunch of stuff and then we can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I didn't realize how much of a trope that was for me. I didn't. I did not know how much <laughs> I did that. I think it just—it's become sort of a trope because it annoys Zach so much, <laughs> and so he notices every single time it happens. <laughs> also, I'm really confused as to what just happened here, because there's like those discs moving around, and then you just like flew into them, and I'm like, did you have to we dodge fire those? a giant space gun to launch ourselves? Internal emissions sink engaged. He's saying science stuff. Online. Drift, just under 1500K. Thanks, Seth Green. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, bringing out the racism early. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, Spectres Aww. are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. 
Joker's a jerk. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send. Oh, a council. <laughs> More council. Only an idiot believes the official story. Okay, so what do we think here? Do we agree the official? Do we agree that the official story is BS? Do we say he's overreacting, or we just say cut the chatter? Um, cut the chatter. Ooh, you're being a lot more sassy than I was. <laughs> Your soldiers act like it. Wow. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> That's right. Oh, see. That is report. <laughs> just the mass when I started playing this game, whatever this part's boring. When I started playing this game, I know there's a way to have sex with somebody. <laughs> so I took that as I'm gonna try to sleep with everybody. <laughs> Like, so, immediately, first person you meet. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, goals. if yeah. there's a chance, I'm taking it. Um, I don't think that's the way the game works. <laughs> Too bad Joker's the first person you meet. I, I don't think there's an option to have sex with Joker, but I tried. Um, oh, shoot, we weren't paying attention. Oh, dang it. Um, so the commander's mad. So, well, actually, no, we didn't here. So what do we want to say here? Uh... I heard. <laughs> <laughs> nice and vague. <laughs> Perfect. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Everyone hates Joker. <laughs> Ooh, look at these awesome walking animations. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now, if I'm not much mistaken, yeah, I could just bust out a gun and start shooting. Pew, 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 pew. And people don't react to that? No. Nah, they don't care. Okay. Now, there's a way to put my gun away. Okay, so I was told I should go back and talk to Joker because he has some kind of disease. <laughs> okay. I don't know. This is what Michael told me. The captain's waiting for you in the conference. Yeah, so oh, okay, he's fine. he really likes Mass Effect, right? Yeah, I talked to him about it today. He he about exploded with excitement when I told him <laughs> I was playing it, and then I told him I thought the game sucked, and he's like, "But the thing is, though." Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I, I want to say I heard you arguing. Okay. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. How do you Sorry, feel about Commander, Turians? Which ones are Turians? Uh, they're the monster face one. Oh, I thought they were specters. Well, oh, is that like a derogatory slur? No, specters are like government agents. You find out later in the game. Oh, okay. Um, I'm applying to be a specter, so. Oh, I see. It's like a job title versus yeah. Spectre's a, a job title. Tyrians okay. are like the monster face, predator looking guys. Okay. So, what do we want to say to him? Uh, ask him what he means. You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. It's a good question. We can investigate. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the Turian Spectres? Yeah. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My <laughs> grandfather fought in the first contact war, lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. You gotta yeah, help me with think? this dialogue stuff. Okay. <clears throat> this is all you're so you. good at talking, Cody. Huh? You're so good at talking. Yeah, Cody. but I hate this part of the game. <laughs> Full disclosure. Uh, investigate. That just takes us back oh, to this menu. My bad, Captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, man. <laughs> but I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue. <laughs> I think this guy kind of has a crush here. <laughs> He's seeming to be a fan. Now, is there a wingman tree where we hook them up? <laughs> oh, that would make the game good. I'm just going to tell him to do his job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. <clears throat> all right. Okay. Oh shoot. Uh, I didn't want to talk to these people. We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Oh, I shucks. Hope you're kidding. Oh, this is Jenkins. Action usually ends with me patching up Jenkins. in the infirmary. Doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Yeah, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. 
I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with the Spectre on board. Uh. You'll do fine. Oh, so now we're being nice? Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. What do you think? No rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. <laughs> Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm already done with this conversation. Goodbye, come on. I want to get to the part with shooting. <laughs> oh boy, we get to talk to Nihilus. Oh, here comes the hottest alien Why in the galaxy. <laughs> I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Oh, I want to talk. What about? <laughs> I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Uh, What do you want to do? Uh, So what? <laughs> I'm a marine, not some tourist. <laughs> it's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that a threat? Ooh. Oh, I, that was me actually it's asking a question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Well, I think it's about time we told the commander what's real. Oh, the walking animations in this game are so <laughs> fantastic. Uh, okay, so this is more than a shakedown run. Do you want to say? That's obvious. I already figured that out. <laughs> We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. Like, Last what clothes am I wearing? Situation. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so space turtleneck. What, obviously. What, what do we want to say here? Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need to know basis. A research team on Eden Prime. It just like Under makes it look like you have like an awkward belly. An you know what I mean? Like the way the detailing mm. works. Prothean. I'll have to look again. What are the details? Protheons. Oh, do you want to learn about Protheons or do you yes. just want to know the details? I thought the Protheons vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. In case you couldn't tell by the, the name Protheons. Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Kind of like this Prometheus, you know? Uh, in case you didn't get it. Discovery like this. It jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the city. Oh, to gosh, there's so much talking in this game. Obviously, this goes mm -hmm. beyond mere human interests, Commander. Oh, that alien's kind of hot, though. Species in <laughs> space. I like his jowls. Um, uh, okay, why did what? we tell the council? <laughs> why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best trip. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Never mind. When I talked to Nihilus, it went much better. <laughs> You're not good at talking to Nihilus. <laughs> We're never going to get to make out with his creepy pincer face if you keep doing this. Do you know this. if that's a possibility? What, making out with Nihilus? Yeah. I do know if it's a possibility, but I'm not going to tell you if it's a possibility. He's here to evaluate. Okay, so this guy's here to evaluate me. How do I feel about it? Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on a coos. You showed a remarkable. Sure does seem like it'd have been fun if I could have seen what I did on a coos. <laughs> Not just heard about it, but that's <laughs> fine. Spectres. Okay, so I'm a candidate for the Spectres. Uh, you put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in this space? Oh, that was a lot more hostile than I meant to. <laughs> yeah, this game does that a lot, where it's like there's, like, oh, I just want to ask this question, and then you're just like, so you want to fight? Like, no, come on, calm down. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. 
So what's the next step? So we want to be a specter. Yeah. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure see, he's my new best friend and mentor and senpai. Will accompany you <laughs> the mission. Are we ready to go yeah, or do we want to keep talking ready. to him? Just give the word, Captain. Oh boy! We should be getting close to Eden. Time for some Captain, sweet pistol shooting action. Wrong, Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring bum, it up bum, on screen. Bum. Things aren't going well, moral of the story. Mm -hmm. pew, pew. Get down. So was this game brought up positively when you were in grad school, or was it like, this is a bad game? Uh, no, it was brought up positively in the context of like offering moral choices. Um, I don't know how much people who referenced it had played it always. Um, but someone told them it offered moral choices. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it is it is kind of famous for the dialogue trees, right? No yeah, the for first sure. to do that extensively. Yeah, see, I don't know if it really was or if it was just like the first one to do it with like a modern setting. Maybe. Ugh, I like his little jowl thing. <laughs> now that looks like a big old hand to me. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other alliance or ships in the area. Like the mind flare from Stranger Take Things. Oh yeah, it really That's does, what doesn't it? Looks it looks like it. Just got a lot more complicated. A small yeah, if the upside down's involved. Without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Dun dun dun. Big space hand. Engaging stealth systems. Thanks, Seth Green. So why did you Somebody want to play this game? Because when you brought it up, I was after. really surprised. Because yeah. I didn't think of it as your... your team's the I played it when I was like 15 or 16 and I did not like it. And what then one of my Jack friends said it was her favorite game and I said some objective. really not nice <laughs> things about it. <laughs> and she's like, you should really try to play it. And I'm like... Maybe I will. <laughs> Maybe. So that he just felt obligated to give it a fair shake. Now yeah. Adult. And then I mentioned that to Zach, and he was like, oh, hey, I can pawn my wife off on you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Okay, how do we feel about the fact that Nihilus just went out ahead? Can uh, we trust him? He can count on us. Understood, Captain. Understood, Captain. No, it's just middle of the road. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Do I just jump out of the spaceship <laughs> from there? <laughs> we got on the ground somehow. Magic. We're and space wizard. Now we have to save for 30 years. All right. Well, we. I think we can wrap up this episode. Oh, okay. And uh, jump back. Caitlin, next time say a into... really smooth outro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was that was terrible. <laughs> Why did you spring that on me? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll be back soon and maybe less awkward. Keep wandering. Bye. <laughs> that was the worst outro. <laughs> hey, Wanders! Thanks for listening to the Wandering Gamer Network plays Mass Effect. We hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, check out the link in the description. We have several actual play podcasts, including D&D &D 5th Edition, City of Mist, and many more. Until next time, keep wandering. <laughs>